three steps to make style easy for you. Let's be honest, we all want to look great every day, while we don't want to put an enormous amount of time and effort every single day into that, right? We want it to be easy, efficient, quick, and actually fun and enjoyable. You probably want to be able to open your wardrobe in the morning, to pick anything and get dressed in seconds. And when you look in the mirror, you want to be able to say, wow, I like this woman, I'm ready to take on the world right now. Well, it is totally possible. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three top tips on how to make it your reality, how to make style easier for you. This is something that I'm using myself as a stylist and a style coach. This is what I teach my clients to do, because even though I am a stylist, the way I look is truly important for me, yet I don't want that to consume so much of my time. I definitely have more important things to do in life, so I want that to be quick and efficient. And this is going to be part one, so if you're loving this type of sensible advice from a personal stylist, subscribe to my channel and definitely leave them a comment under this video sharing which tip resonates with the most with you. Step number one is to understand your style and to create some kind of go-to outfits or go-to style uniform, so to say. For example, I personally love blazers. This is usually my signature piece. This is usually how I would dress myself, like, oh, I feel like wearing this blazer or that blazer. So usually a lot of my outfit would include a piece of blazer. So this makes everything so much easier for me, whether I'm getting dressed because I know, okay, I will probably want to wear a blazer or when I'm shopping as well, because I know this is my go-to piece. So so this is something that I love buying, this is something that makes me happy, this conveys the look that I'm going to, that conveys the right message for me. So I love the structure that the blazers bring, I like how you can dress it up, dress it down, you can make it work for a professional setting. It all depends how you style it, it depends on the type of the blazer you're wearing. So it gives me a lot of options while this one piece is my signature piece, so it makes everything easier for myself. For some of my clients, it could be different things. So I know one of my clients, for example, she loves wearing wide leg crop trousers, like culottes, for example. So for her, this is usually her starting point for creating her outfits. This is usually a style that she loves, that looks great on her and her body shape. So this is usually her go-to piece. I have clients for whom, for example, leather bottoms, they love faux leather or leather bottoms, and they love those type of pieces because it gives a lot of structure, it brings, whether it's a skirt, whether it's trousers, so they love to have that type of piece in their wardrobe and it's kind of like the main, the baseline for them. I have some clients who love media skirts, it's their go-to piece in all the different variations, maybe a pleated skirt, maybe a slip skirt, so it could be anything, but like media skirt is their go-to and this is how they create their outfits. This is something that helps them to shop smart, strategic and get dressed easier. So this is a challenge for you to identify what might be those one, two pieces that are really signature pieces for your style, that put it all together, that make a lot of sense for you, that when you put that type of piece, you love how you look, you know, this is the outfit that empowers you, that make you look great, that make you love your reflection in the mirror. So decide what it is for you. And there is no one solution for everyone. For somebody, it might be wearing like structured pieces like blazer. Maybe you love shirts. Maybe you love certain silhouette or something like this. Now, you might be wondering, okay, Nina, sounds good, but isn't it boring? Isn't it like when you find yourself in a style run? If you're always going for the same kind of type of piece, or like you have one, to go to pieces? Well, no, you have to be a bit more intentional about that. So my own example, I love blazers, I have a lot of blazers, but the variety that it gives me is because I have blazers in different styles, cuts, fits, length, materials, colors, like all the different elements that create maybe I'm wearing the same type of outfit with a blazer, but the way I style it and the way the piece looks itself allows me to create so many different type of outfits and honestly I've been wearing blazers for so long and I'm never bored with them and my looks are different and fun and inspiring to me. So this is how you are being intentional and this is how you create actually the outfits that look different for you. So yeah, of course, when you have a lot of pieces that are very, very similar, the outfits will look very similar, you'll be bored and tired with your own style. So you have to bring this intention and mindfulness when you shop, when you create your style. So your pieces are actually different. 
Step number two is organizing your closet. I know it may sound boring and very straightforward, but believe me, this is key if you want it to be easy for you to get dressed if you want your style to feel easy and effortless for yourself. And it doesn't matter if you have all your style all figured out and you actually have a lot of cute pieces in your wardrobe, but if your wardrobe is a mess, style is going to be hard anyways. And the great part about it is that it's so easy to fix. Actually, you don't need to do anything special. You don't need to spend hours doing that. It's like little tips here and there, just being a little bit more, again, intentional, spending just a tiny bit of time setting everything that, so it makes it easier for you in the long run. You want to keep your closet tidy, organized, and clean as well. So when you open your wardrobe, you actually feel like, oh, like, breath of fresh air is so nice you don't have some dust there at the back you don't have like something like it's actually neat tidy and organized and clean so clean out your closet and organize everything very neatly over there so it's very nice you want to organize pieces by categories again to make it easier for you to get dressed because usually when you put together outfits unless you really always most of the time going for one piece outfits like wearing a dress wearing a onesie like a jumper so unless you do that most of the time usually most of us are wearing like two three piece outfits so you have tops and you have bottoms and you have layers like how to wear maybe so that's why in order for you to make it easier to get dressed you want to know okay here are all my tops here are all my bottoms and if your water is a little bit bigger so for example you have a lot of different types of bottoms then you can further put them in different categories okay here are all my short skirts here are all my longer skirts here are all my trousers here are all my jeans you get the idea so basically you want to categorize your wardrobe and you want to have different separate segments there so whenever however you like to dress for yourself so for some people it's easier to start with bottoms and go from there for some people it may be oh i'm going to start with the layers my layers are here and then i'm going for bottoms and then i'm going for like the tops so however it is easier for you however it makes more sense and more logical for you organize your closet accordingly and you will see it's like easier it's like so much easier it takes so less time just this little simple organization because imagine otherwise if you're really frustrated right now probably you have a mix of like oh here are the dresses and the blazers and the tops oh and i have a t-shirt here oh and actually there are pants that i haven't seen here for a year and i actually have those so if that's such a mess like that no wonder it's so hard to get dressed and style is hard so you want to make it easier for you just organize everything by categories and a bonus tip here as well i highly highly recommend for you to get uniform hangers i usually like the velvet hangers because nothing slips out of them so you open your wardrobe and everything looks so neat and nice like you know you go to a boutique store and everything looks so attractive like you're kind of very inviting it's actually like a fun and inspiring process to look through those pieces so you can recreate this type of feeling with your own wardrobe so organize by categories keep it clean and tidy and get the uniform hangers in one color so everything looks so nice and inviting so it's not only easier for you to maintain your style to develop your style to get dressed but it's also fun and inspiring and enjoyable and then obviously when it comes to the contents of your wardrobe we talked about that in this video you want to keep only the things that you love there again if you want your style to feel easy effortless like something that really comes natural to you you want to keep there the things only that you love 100 percent not something that uh, I bought it, it's trendy, but I'm not sure. You really want to keep the things there that love it, it fits me, it works for me, I'm actually wearing it, it works for my body right now, it works for my life right now. So all the things that you have in your wardrobe, they are working for you there 100%. And I have a big rule that I better have fewer clothes in my wardrobe than a lot of clothes kind of a lot of choice and a lot of selection i better have a small and compact wardrobe but knowing that 100 percent of those things 
are absolutely great and fabulous and working for me. So that is how it's also making it easier for you to get dressed because you know, you can grab anything out of your wardrobe and you don't have to double question, oh, is it gonna work or is it gonna fit or is it still appropriate to, to wear outside in the public, right? So everything you keep in your wardrobe has to work, has to make you happy, 100%. Otherwise, it doesn't stay there. Step number three is to take pictures of your outfits and saving them in a separate folder. So basically what are you doing? You're doing kind of like outfit log. And this is helpful for you because, you know, life is different. Sometimes we have a bit more energy. Sometimes we have a bit more time. Sometimes we are inspired to look for a new type of outfit out, out of our own wardrobe. Sometimes we don't have any time. We don't have any desire or interest to think about something else. So this is when you end up wearing the same thing over and over, which doesn't make you happy, but you don't have the energy to put something new together. And this is when your folder with your outfit logs is going to help you. So what I encourage you to do, like maybe take a month to, depending how big is your wardrobe, depending on what you want to do, but take picture of your outfit every single day, store that in a separate folder. And then when you have this moment where, oh gosh, it kind of like, it's the last thing on my plate. I have so much today. I don't want to think about what I'm going to wear, but I want something cute. Open your phone look quickly through like, okay, how do I want to feel today? Or like, do you want to dress for my mood, for how I feel right now? Or like something important is going, going to be today on your agenda. So you want something put together, whatever it might be for you, just scroll through your folder and see, oh yes, I forgot. This is in my wardrobe. This is how I can wear it together. This is how it can go together. Yes, this is outfit that I can go to. So this is what I do myself. This is what I encourage my clients to do as well. For myself as well, you may think, oh, your personal style is like, it's your job to put together outfits. Right, yes, but as I said at the very beginning, I don't want that to take a lot of my time of the day. I'm running a business. I'm there better serving my customers. So when I get dressed, yes, it is very important for me to look great, but sometimes, yeah, I don't have time or energy or whatever it might be. So yes, I open my phone, quickly scroll it, and a lot of times, it's so funny, but a lot of times, even though my wardrobe is actually pretty small, I would say. And a lot of times I think like, oh, I know everything that I have in my wardrobe in my head. But every time when I'm, I'm in that situation where I'm not sure what to wear, not sure, like don't have the energy to think about that, I open my phone and every time I surprise myself, oh yes, I totally forgot, completely forgot I had this, even though I, I thought I knew everything what I have in my wardrobe. No, you don't have to think, you don't have to remember everything that you have in your wardrobe. You better use your brain for something else, for something that is truly important. So just keep a log of your outfits and and then refer to that when you have this moment when don't know what to wear, nothing to wear, nothing is inspiring, just look back and you will be surprised yourself and you will be able to find those options that will be relevant and will make it easy for you. Now, my dear, I shared with you all those great tips, but it will only work for you if you take action. So I would like to hold you accountable. So please, do me a favor and yourself as well. Leave me a comment under this video and let me know which tip you're going to implement starting today or tomorrow. Not next week, not next month, but like today or tomorrow, depending on when you watch this video. Maybe it's the weekend for you. So maybe today you can spend 30 minutes, not more, organizing your closet, just putting everything in different categories or cleaning it up. So let me know in the comments what are you going to start with today and tomorrow and then you can come back actually and let me know your progress so if you've implemented all the tips a couple of weeks down the line how is it working out for you is style becoming more easy i would love to hear from you and thank you for being here i will see you in the next one